In this video, we're going to be working a couple more problems involving careful consideration of left and right limits. So I've listed the problems that we're going to be working here. This is the one we're going to attack first. The limit as x tends to 0 of cosecant of 2x over x. But I've shown the next one we're going to be working after we finish this one here so that while we're going through this one, maybe you'll be able to pick up on what you need to do to solve this one. Okay, so I'm sure you'll recognize cosecant as 1 over sine. So we can write the limit as this is the limit as x tends to 0 of x times sine of 1 over x times sine of 2x. And this is just because cosecant of 2x is the same thing as 1 over sine of 2x. Okay, and you may be tempted to see that as x goes to 0, of course, this x goes to 0. And then sine of 2x goes to sine of 0. But what is sine of 0? Well, sine of 0 is 0. So you have 1 over 0. You may be tempted to say this is positive infinity. And it turns out you'll be right, but let's look at this more carefully. So let's say as you're approaching 0 from the right, you're going to be looking at values, say x is some real small positive fraction, say it's like 0 0.001. So this cosecant of, say when x equals 0 0.001, cosecant of 2x over x is going to be, well, it's going to be 1 over x times the sine of 2x. And that's going to be 1 over 0 0.001 times the sine of 0 0.001. And hopefully you remember from your unit circle, let's go ahead and draw a little unit circle here. This is the x-axis. Uh, this is the y-axis. Should be perpendicular here. This is 1 on the x. This is 1 on the y. This, this is not quite a circle, but let's pretend it is. Okay, this circle has radius 1. And uh, say we're looking, we're looking at, at an angle theta here. This point here on this unit circle is cosine theta sine theta. So you can see that cosine of theta is the cos is the it's the x coordinate of on the unit circle when theta is the angle swept from the positive x axis in the counterclockwise direction. Okay, here we're moving counterclockwise from the positive x-axis. This is the positive x-axis. This is the positive y-axis. Okay, so sine of some really small angle, and this is in radians, would be very, very close to zero. right? Or a really small fraction. A really small fraction times 0 0.001 is just going to make this 0 0.001 even smaller so you'll have 
1 over a very small fraction. And 1 over a very small, and this is a very small but positive fraction, very small, just write plus positive fraction. 1 over a very small positive fraction is a very large positive number. So I'll just put number. Don't get confused between the plus sign and the pound sign. It stands for number here. And that's, but that's when x is 0 0.001. So we're approaching 0 coming in from the right. Now let's say we approach 0 coming in from the left. So say x equals negative 0 0.001. Well then, cosecant of 2x over x equals 1 over x sine of 2x. And this is 1 over negative 0 0.001 times the sine of negative 0 0.001 and a negative angle is denoted here by a counterclockwise sweep so a negative theta is a sweep of theta in the counterclockwise direction or let's Let's call this theta 1, and we'll say this is theta 2. Theta 2 is going to be a sweep of theta 2 in the counterclockwise direction. It, it, it's, a, it's a negative number. So here we'll be going negative 0 0.001 radians in the clockwise direction, I should say. The, the positive is counterclockwise and negative is clockwise. So we'll be going in the clockwise direction. And sine is the y coordinate here. So sine theta is less than zero when, when theta is between, uh, when theta is between 0 and negative pi over 2 or sorry oh well yeah that's right and it's also well it's really less than 0 when theta is between is is between negative pi and 0 or alternatively you could think of it as and this is where if you're working between negative pi this is if this is when Theta ranges between, and sometimes we use this notation, is an element of the set. Probably see your math teacher use that, negative pi to pi. But when we want to when we want to use the 0 to 2 pi, I'll just write it and then explain what I'm going to say. So when um when we want to say that theta ranges between 0 and 2 pi instead of negative pi and pi same thing just different starting and end points um then we can say that when theta ranges between pi and 2 pi sine of theta ne is negative any in any event it's it's going to be negative in quadrants three and four. This is quadrant three. Just number the quadrants here. This is quadrant one. I'll say Q1, it's Q2, Q3, Q4. 
So sine theta is going to be negative in quadrants 3 and 4. So sine of negative 0 0.001 is going to be a very small negative number. But it will be multiplied by negative 0 0.001. So we will have we'll have 1 over a very small fraction, but positive fraction. Very small positive fraction. And 1 over a very small positive fraction is a very large positive number. So both when we approach 0 from the left, we get a very large positive number as well as when we approach zero from the right we get a really large positive number for this one for this cosecant of 2x over x so this limit is indeed positive infinity the way we can say that is the limit as x tends to zero cosecant of 2x as x approaches zero from the right of cosecant of 2x over x equals the limit as x approaches zero from the left of cosecant of x cosecant of 2x over x equals positive infinity some teachers may prefer you to say the, li the limit doesn't exist here because it doesn't converge upon a particular number but Positive infinity does have a definite interpretation, and that means that, and, and limit being positive infinity means that if you pick any value of y, you can find a value for x close to zero such that cosine of 2x over x is bigger than that value of y, no matter what value of y you pick. So if you picked like y equals 10 billion, you could find an x close to zero, both greater than zero and less than zero, where cosine of 2x over x is bigger than 10 billion. And so that's how this positive infinity can be interpreted. All right, now we're going to be looking at this limit here. This limit as x tends to zero of secant of x over x. Let me draw a little separator here. Uh, well, I guess that's the best I can do. Okay, so. you recognize secant of x as 1 over cosine of x so you can rewrite this limit as a limit as x tends to 0 of x 1 over x cosine of x okay and here you may be tempted to you know plug in 0 you see that as x gets close to 0 this term, well, this x, of course, gets close to 0, and cosine of x gets close to cosine of 0. And cosine of 0 is 1. Going back to this unit circle here, cosine is the x-coordinate. And when theta is 0, we're, remember, theta is measured with respect to the positive x-axis, cosine is 1. Be less than one as you uh, as you uh, as theta gets bigger towards positive pi over two, but still greater than zero positive, and it would be less than one but still greater than zero as theta heads toward negative pi over two from zero. But at zero, the cosine is one. So back to back to the limit we'd have 1 over 0 times 1 
1 over 0, so you may be tempted to say that's plus infinity, right? But again, let's, let's be sure and look both from the right and from the left. It's getting kind of messy here. I'm going to rewrite this. I'm going to use some more space up here. Oh, man. Oh. Uh, are we in business? We are. Okay. The limit as x approaches 0 of secant of x over x. That's the limit as x tends to 0 of 1 over x cosine of x. And, you know, as x gets close to 0, x gets close to 0, and cosine of x gets close to cosine of 0, which is 1. So, might be tempted to do that, but let's, let's look on either side. So, say x is... Point zero zero one. Then secant of x over x equals one over x cosine of x equals one over well, one, one over point zero zero one times cosine of point zero zero one and I'm gonna have to go back to our unit circle here for cosine of point zero zero one is very it's going to be very close to one right because point zero zero one radians is very close to zero radians and cosine is the x coordinate x coordinate here is very close to 1, slightly less than it, but still very close to 1. Positive 1, and so we have 1 over 0 0.001 time, times a quantity very close to 1. So this is a large positive number because we have a small positive fraction here. 1 over that is a large positive number. Now say x is negative point zero zero one. So we're approaching x equals zero from the left. Then secant of x over x equals one over x cosine of x. One over negative point zero zero one times cosine of negative point zero zero one. You'll either remember from your odd even identities that cosine of negative x equals cosine of x or you can go back to this unit circle here and you'll see that cosine of for theta that's very very small but very but negative cosine of theta will still be close to 1. You get closer to 0 as you approach pi over 2, but when you're still in the vicinity of theta equals 0, whether you're positive or negative, cosine of theta is very close to 1 and is obviously positive because we're dealing with the x-coordinate here. So we have 1 divided by negative 0 0.001 times something that's you no know, very close to 1. So we have and this little squiggly just means approximately. We have a very large negative number. A large negative number so you can you can see here that 
when you approach from the right you get a very you get a large positive number and uh, as this X becomes smaller and smaller and smaller and closer and closer to zero this uh, so as X tends to zero from the right secant of X over X tends to positive infinity as X gets smaller and smaller but negative and approaches zero from the left secant of X over X approaches negative infinity so as X approaches zero from the left secant of X over X approaches negative infinity and here the limit truly does not exist because from the right you approach positive infinity and from the left you approach negative infinity so what's this deal with zero one over zero being positive infinity well, this quantity in the denominator if you're if you're talking about if you're approaching from the right it's positive but if you're approaching from the left it's negative so this overall fraction if you're approaching from the left one over what's in the denominator will be negative infinity of course in the limit as x tends to zero from the left so the bottom line here is here I'll just write it here this is kind of messy but and I'll, I'll circle it since since limit as x tends to zero from the left of secant of x over x equals negative infinity and the limit should be an n as x tends to zero from the right of secant of x over x equals positive infinity the limit does not exist okay so I have the bottom line of this problem circled so in the previous problem cosine of 2x over x we looked at both the left and right limits they they were positive infinity so we could say the limit was positive infinity here the left was negative infinity and the right was positive infinity so the limit does not exist